Hello, we're hello, testing. we're testing. This is a test. Woohoo! Okay. Hi, I'm Melissa Clark, and I am making one of my favorite holiday cookies for you today. I'm making rugelach with cherry and cardamom. 11 months out of the year, I'm a very normal person, and I make cookies just, you know, whenever I want to make cookies. But come December, I go into this cookie frenzy, and I can't stop. First of all, I love sharing things that I bake. But really, I love to bake cookies. It is the most fun thing. So I'm very grateful that the holidays gives me an excuse. First step for rugelach is you have to make the dough and you have to make the dough ahead of time because it needs time to chill. If you try to roll it out right after you make it, it's gonna be a sticky mess. So give yourself some time. Cream cheese, it must be soft. You have to take it out of the fridge a couple of hours ahead or you can cheat and put it in the microwave on low for like 10 seconds because it's going to mix in with the butter more easily if it's super soft already. So also butter should be soft. You're looking for no lumps at all. It should be perfectly smooth before you add the rest of the ingredients. This is not very much sugar because the filling is so sweet and you kind of want the contrast between the dough, which is a little bit sweet and salty, and then that lovely cherry jam. Okay, and just a little bit of vanilla, you know, like a teaspoon or a couple of caps full, or, or you just can just pour some in, it doesn't matter. And I've got my salt, and now I'm gonna slowly add the flour. So just beat until the flour is completely incorporated. You don't see any white traces of flour. It's such an easy dough to make because it just comes right together. Oh, it's a really good dough. <laughs> Half of the reason that I like to bake cookies so much is because I really like cookie dough. It's the best. Now I'm gonna divide this up into four pieces and put it in the fridge until it's very solid. And the reason that you do this in four pieces is that it makes it so much easier when you roll it out. So I have this little triangle. I'm just gonna form it into a ball and then I'm gonna flatten it into a disc. So I have my four little discs of dough and I'm gonna put them in the fridge for two hours. So the dough has chilled for a couple of hours. It's a little too firm to roll out so I'm gonna let it sit at room temperature for like five, 10 minutes and I'm gonna make the filling while it sits. So for the filling, I'm gonna do a cardamom sugar walnut dried cherry mix. So you're kind of just breaking up the brown sugar really. I mean, you're whisking, but you just wanna break up the brown sugar and get this well combined. And there can be a few lumps of brown sugar. You just wanna make sure they're small. You don't want big lumps. Dried cherries are a little bit sweeter than the um, golden raisins that I usually use. And then walnuts, you don't have to toast them. You can toast them, I didn't. So this is a really dry filling and what keeps it stuck onto the dough is the jam. It's like glue, except, you know, it tastes good. I think the dough is ready to roll. I'm just going to add a little bit of flour to my work surface. I'm just dusting both sides. The trick to rolling out either dough is to keep it moving. You know, you wanna turn it over, swipe up some more flour, and this helps it not stick to the counter. And I'm attempting to roll this into a circle and I'm really bad at rolling things into a circle. So if this doesn't look perfect, it's still gonna taste great. I'm looking for about an eighth of an inch. That is round as it's gonna be and that looks great. And now I'm gonna fill it. I've got just plain cherry preserves. Use whatever flavor you want, but the cherry just, it works so nicely with the cardamom. This one is pretty chunky. It's really cool when you eat these because you've got the dried cherry, but then you also have these like jammy cherries, which are just delicious. And now I'm gonna sprinkle a quarter of the filling on top of this. You can use a knife. I've just got my handy bench scraper and I'm gonna cut this into 12 wedges like you're cutting up a pie. You do quarters and then each quarter you have to do into thirds. Try to make them even, but it's no big deal if they're not 100% even. The smaller ones get like really kind of caramelized and, and really crisp. And then the bigger ones stay sort of soft and more like a pastry. I'm rolling from the wide part down to the tip. You just want the tip to be underneath the rugelach so that it stays closed. In a way, these are self-decorating because they're just so pretty when you pull them out. They're you know texturally interesting. They've got the color, they've got the red from the jam and the different shapes. So when they come out of the oven, you don't have to do anything because they look great. I'm gonna put them on a cookie sheet and you wanna put them about an inch apart. If you put them straight in the oven, they're gonna kind of unwind and look really sloppy. And if you chill them first, they're gonna keep their shape better when they're baked. So these have chilled for 30 minutes. They are nice and firm. And now I'm gonna brush them with milk. The milk is going to make them really brown in the oven. And it's also gonna make this cardamom sugar stick to it. 
So my oven is set to 350 and we're gonna bake these for 15 to 20 minutes. After you bake these, you wanna let them cool on the baking tray. You're gonna notice that the filling leaks out and that pool of filling is caramelized, cardamom flavored cherry jam and it is like candy, it is delicious. The hardest part of baking cookies is putting these away in a tin and not eating all of them because you know I'm supposed to give them to people, so that is hard. Um, but you have to try one, right? Quality control. Mm. The texture is perfect. And you know what's so great? The sweet salty balance. The dough is a little salty and the filling is sweet. It's so good. There are so many more cookie recipes. I developed another seven of them and my colleagues have developed plenty of them on NYT Cooking, so check us out. Make cookies, make too many cookies, and happy holidays, everybody. Happy baking. <laughs>